Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, the brand new AWS AI Practitioner Certification. If you're looking to get certified, gain some foundational AI knowledge, or just stay ahead in the ever-evolving tech world, you're in the right place. So, let's dive right in. So, what exactly is the AWS AI Practitioner Certification? Well, think of it as your entry ticket into the world of AI on AWS. It's a foundational level certification designed for anyone who wants to understand the basics of AI and machine learning, and how these technologies can be applied using AWS services. Whether you're a business leader, product manager, sales professional, or just curious about AI, this certification is a fantastic way to get your foot in the door. Now, this certification is perfect if you're not necessarily looking to get into the technical nitty-gritty of building AI models, but still want to know how to leverage AI for business solutions, product development, or even just to stay informed about the latest tech trends. And let's be real, AI is everywhere these days, so why not get certified and add that to your skill set? Alright, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the exam itself. AWS has announced the beta exam, and the standard version will be available in late 2024. For those who don't know, AWS certification uses beta exams to validate the performance of exam questions before they're used in the standard versions. So, the beta exam is essentially the same as the standard one, but with a few more questions, and at a discounted price of $75. The beta exam has 85 questions, while the standard exam will have 65 questions, of which 50 are scored. You'll have 120 minutes to complete the exam, and the passing score is 700 out of 1000. So basically, you need to get about 70% of the questions right. You can check the exam guide on the AWS official certification page for more details, including which AWS services are in scope for the exam. This exam contains multiple choice, multiple response, ordering, matching, and case study types of questions. AWS has introduced three new types of questions. If you have a question about how to order your answers on an AWS certification test, just put your answers in the order the question tells you to. To get the right answer on a matching question, you need to pick 3 to 7 answers that match the questions they ask. It's really important to get each question and answer right, so you can get credit. To do this, you have to read the question carefully, figure out what the important bits are, and mark the parts you know your answer for. AWS certification exam case studies consist of two or more questions that are evaluated independently. These questions can be multiple choice, multiple response, ordering or matching. The exam is divided into several key domains, each covering different aspects of AI and machine learning. These domains include foundational AI and ML knowledge, understanding basic AI concepts, machine learning algorithms, and the real-world applications. AWS AI and ML services, familiarizing yourself with AWS services like Amazon SageMaker, Recognition, Transcribe and Comprehend, Generative AI Fundamentals, learning about generative AI and its potential use cases with AWS services, AI fairness and bias, understanding the ethical considerations of AI and how to ensure responsible AI development. Each domain has a different weight, so it's important to focus on the areas that carry the most points. And by the way, if you are already familiar with AWS Cloud Practitioner, you're in a good spot. This exam expects you to have the basic knowledge of some AWS services. Now that you know what's on the exam, let's talk about how to prepare. First up, start with the basics. If you're new to AI and ML, it's crucial to get a solid grasp of the foundational concepts. You don't need to dive into complex algorithms or neural networks just yet, but you should understand what AI is, the difference between AI and machine learning and some of the basic types of machine learning like supervised and unsupervised learning. Familiarize yourself with AWS AI and ML services. This is where the bulk of your study time should go. Services like Amazon SageMaker, Bedrock, Recognition, and Comprehend are essential to understand, not just in theory, but in how they're used in real-world applications. AWS has fantastic documentation and white papers on these services, so take advantage of those resources. For those of you looking for structured courses, I studied Stefan Marek's course on Udemy. If you already have some knowledge of AI and ML, this one course might be enough. This course is great at covering everything you need to know for the AI practitioner exam, like generative AI, prompt engineering, the basics of AI and machine learning. Stefan doesn't just give you the stuff you need to pass the test, he also shares a bunch of useful tips and tricks for using AWS services in real life. This makes learning the course a lot more fun. He makes sure his courses stay up to date. The course also has a practice exam, which turned out to be super helpful. Once you're done with these course, take practice exams available on Udemy. I took Stefan Marek's mock tests. AWS also offers a set of 20 official practice questions on the Skill Builder website for free, so make sure to check those out as well. The more you practice, the more familiar you become with the types of questions you face. Aim to score at least 85% on these practice tests before scheduling your exam. And before scheduling the exam, enable the ESL 30 option if English isn't your first language. This will give you an extra 30 minutes to complete the exam. Remember, this certification is not just about passing a test, it's about gaining valuable knowledge that you can apply in your career and beyond. AI is the future, and by getting certified, you're positioning yourself to be at the forefront of this exciting field. 
I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or need more tips, drop them in the comments below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in tech and certifications. Thanks for watching and good luck with your AWS AI practitioner journey.